All right, welcome to another episode on Solidus. And in this episode right here, we're going to be focusing on actually cleaning up the cart page. And uh, also, we are missing the cart link from our um, from our site. So what we're going to be doing is adding the cart link back to our page. So let's take a look at what we're going to be trying to accomplish uh, from the browser here. So I'm going to open up my browser. And there's a few things I want to talk about before I actually get into um, the actual coding part of it. So this is the cart button that I was talking about, uh, which is missing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add that back in. I'm going to show you guys how. Um, and as you can see, I've cleaned up the cart page over here. Now, if I load up, uh, you know, the thing that we're going to be working with, so I'm going to do Rails uh, S over here. So this is uh, my research app. This is my actual app that I'm going to be working with you guys on screen. Okay, so while that's booting up, um, what I want to show you guys is I have the code base for the stuff that I'm doing. And what I've started doing now is created pull requests. So for this upcoming episode, there's a pull request called cleaning up the cart page and adding the adding back the cart button. And so if you want to see what um, all the changes that I've done, you can click on the file changed in the in GitHub over here and you can see all the work that I'm doing to get the change over here. So if you're just one of those guys or girls who want to just look at the code, um, you can head over to our GitHub page, star the repository um, and uh, keep track with that repository. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Actually, I have one more thing to say. You guys are like, oh, come on, just get into it. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, you know, one of the viewers on our channel, a subscriber, mentioned something very good about, um, you know, Solidus. And, uh, you know, I've been ignoring it for now. And, you know, it's my bad. But here's the thing, right? So um, he talked about, um, you know, not actually uh, overriding the views of Solidus like the way that I've been doing. It's generally not recommended if using Spree or Solidus to override the view. But here's the problem. There's actually a way to do it using Dface. Uh, Dface is actually the recommended way. But the problem with Dface is, you know, like there's, it's like, it's very restrictive in some areas. And if you do HTML, you have HTML mixed up with Ruby code. So it's not exactly the cleanest. And, you know, it doesn't give you all the flexibility you need. Sure, you can use Dface to do some changes. Um, but if you really want to reskin and rebuild the theme, the front end at least, from scratch um, and, and have all that flexibility, you're going to need to do what I'm doing here. And one of the, um, you know, one of the things you need to be aware of is, you know, when Solidus um, uh, updates their API or their code base or their helper, it might break the theme. So if you're going down the route uh, that I'm going down, you need to be very proficient. You need to understand Rails uh, pretty well to be able to fix the problems that are gonna come ahead. So this is why I've taken this route. And any proficient Rails developer who understands Rails is not going to have a problem fixing the problems that are going to come up in the API. So this way allows you to really have the full 100% flexibility that you need. Uh, but let's actually get into the code. So um, now we know what we're, we're going to achieve. Uh, I'm going to open up what we actually have uh, over here. And uh, let's get started. So localhost. Okay, so here we are. We have um, our store now. And so what we're going to do is, um, so I'm going to click on this Ruby on Rails bag. Um, and I'm going to click add to cart over here. And so we're going to see the cart page and it looks uh, quite messy, right? It does not look anything like what we have over here. So over here, obviously, I've cleaned it up. So our goal is to get it to look like this, right? Um, so let's get started. So the easiest thing we could probably do is probably just work with these buttons over here. So I'm going to head over into my text editor. And what I'm going to do is I know that, you know, from the rendering that the views that are responsible for this is, um, you know, it's the orders. So the four orders form, the order edit page. So I'm going to head over into my Solidus code base, front end, uh, apps, views, spree, orders, and then edit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy everything and I'm going to create this file in our project. Uh, so I'm going to fold this back up just like that. And here we are. So new folder orders. This is creating the view. Um, and then we're going to do edit.html.erb. And I'm going to paste that in just like that. Hit save. 
and uh, now we're start uh, ready to start doing our work. So the first thing is the you know the buttons down here, uh, empty cart button. So let's go ahead and work on that first. Very easy. So we have this empty cart over here. So what we can do is just do a BTN BTN default, um, and then we can go back and take a look and hit reload over here. And so there you go, it's already starting to change. And we need some kind of spacing between the coupon area and the update button and the empty cart area. So what we're gonna do is gonna add a, a HR, so the horizontal rule uh, over here. And uh, Bootstrap already has horizontal rule styles and everything, so we will be good to go just by adding that tag. Look at that, already starting to look better. So the next thing we're gonna do is, um, you know, this link, uh, it needs to be using the BTN, BTN uh, link, uh, class there you go all right uh, so if you want you can also just do btn default that also works uh, whichever one you like is fine so that looks pretty okay uh, so the next thing is this coupon uh, form over here and the update and the checkout button so let's go ahead and clean that up uh, and there uh, over here so here again I'm gonna add HR for a horizontal rule I'm gonna do a reload over here just to, you know, so we have that separation and it's all clean. Um, so the thing we're going to need to do is we need to make sure that this form uh, has a class of uh, form uh, inline. So this is all coming from Bootstrap over here. Um, so yeah, if you're not familiar with Bootstrap, go read the documentation. I'm not gonna go into details there. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna add the form inline over here. And then here we are going, this is the div, so this is the form group. And um, here, the, the text field is where the coupon code is. So what we're gonna do there is just add a class. Um, and then we're going to add the class of um, form control, just like that. And then we're gonna hit reload and see what happens. All right, there you go. So now it's got the bootstrap style with the blue highlight, that looks good. Um, then the update button comes up. So we're going to then uh, add a class for that as well. So we have a class already over here. So do, we're gonna do BTN, BTN success for the update. And then we have um, BTN, um, you know, BTN primary should be fine. Hit reload. And there we go. So we have the blue and the green button over here. So that looks good. We've cleaned that up. So the next thing we need to do is this is actually a table. So all we will probably have to do is change this form to be the, you know, the bootstrap style. And we also need to give the table the class uh, table. Uh, so if we take a look at the um, fold this for a moment and we actually take a look at the form. So if I comment out this form over here, you'll see that the whole thing is, is, uh, is gone. And so we know that we need to override the form partial. So we're gonna go into the code base here and um, you know, we're gonna take a look at um, our orders and the form. So we're gonna copy the whole thing just like before. Uh, and then we're gonna put that in our code base so we can override it. So we're gonna paste that in there like that. And now, um, you know, we have control. So what we can do now is we can add a class over here on the table called table. And we will see right away uh, when we reload. Uh, so now because I've uncommented, you see that I cleaned that right up. It added these two bars to clean that right up. So the only thing left to do here is to work on this form, this quantity um, for field over here to make it look more like bootstrappy, right? So to do that, um, you know, the, as you can see, there's another partial over here. So if I comment that out and I do a reload here, uh, we're gonna see that the items disappear. So that's the partial that we need to override. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a line item, HTML ERB, just like that. And then uh, we're just going to go ahead and copy um, everything from here, copy and then we're going to paste this in here just like that. And now uh, all we have to do is basically just give this number field for the quantity. This is the TD, the cell for the quantity. Uh, all we have to do is just give it the uh, form control class 
and hit reload and um, you know it's going to just work there you go it's already cleaned up so the last thing we need to do now is add the cart button over here now if we take a look at the shared um, and the header we're going to see that um, you know there is a partial here main nav bar and nav bar so if we take a look at the main nav bar, that's actually um, where the cart button is that we didn't add into here uh, in our code base. So uh, all we actually have to do is add it back in. Um, so over here, I'm just going to delete all of this stuff, all this comment, okay? We don't need it just yet. Um, so we want it to be on the right-hand side. So what we're gonna do is gonna do a UL class uh, nav, na uh, nav bar, nav, and then nav bar, right. And so we just need an li in here that's going to contain that cart link. But how do we get that cart link? Well, it's very simple, actually. Uh, so if we go into our code base again, um, so I'm going to head over into our shared um main nav bar. So the actual link to cart is actually right over here. So now we can see that there's actually JavaScript being run because just of the script tag here, there's actually JavaScript being run to get the cart to actually work. So uh, what we need to do is we need to be aware of that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this just link to cart uh, so that we can put it in that um, header on, on our app. Uh, so I'm going to head over to our applications. I'm going to fold this up go into our header and I'm going to paste our, our code in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, so let's go back and hit reload for a minute and see what happens. We're not going to see anything yet because um, when we did our assets, uh, we did not include some files that's needed. So if I look at our assets, JavaScript, uh, spree, front end, all, we're missing a few files here, right? So how do I know that? Well, I'm, I looked in Solidus, I looked in the front end, I looked in assets, and then go, I went to style sheets and, and then I looked at, uh, sorry, not style sheet, but JavaScript. And then I looked over here and I saw that there's actually cart.js checkout and product.js.coffee that I did not include. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this part over here. Uh, so just these three files, we have the spree already. Uh, and then I'm gonna add them back into our application. So I'm gonna go over here uh, and paste that back in like that and replace these with hashes, just like that. So now if I hit, go back to my page and I hit reload, you will see that, um, you know, there you go. So now the cart is actually done. So the cart is actually generated with an Ajax call back to our server uh, before, you know, it has to calculate how many items we have in the card and all that stuff and come up with a price. So that's how they're doing it. And um, if you look in the in this over here in the console, you'll see that, you know, this is, um, so I'm going to hit reload over here and you'll see that it's actually rendering the page da -da -da, with all the assets and then bam, another request over here. So I'm actually doing two requests. So that's actually Ajax requests that's, um, you know, generating the card detail up here for us. So that will wrap it up for this video. This is what we're trying to accomplish and we did it already. So um, in the next episode, uh, you know, there's there's a few more things we need to clean up. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna clean it up. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our video. We appreciate your support. I also would like to mention that on our Facebook page, I've added kind of like a teaser for the Rails Foundation course that's coming up. So stay tuned. Uh, very exciting things coming on our website. Um, and so, you know, check that out and like our page on Facebook as well. Uh, and don't forget to check out our GitHub um, repository with all the changes, the code changes. And, uh, you know, if you want to take a look at that, it's all over here. Yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.